Well, greetings. So I've got a couple of beautiful 136As, JBL 136As here. Uh, I've taken the cone assemblies out. This is one of them. The, uh, they'd been sitting in a garage for about 40 years, so the surrounds just kind of turned to dust. And there's a manufacturing date, August 25th, 1970-something. Probably in the mid-70s, maybe early 70s. There's the other one. The other one had a 2231 marking on it. This one says 136A. Uh, <clears throat> but really nice condition. Frames are nice. Uh, I'm going to install my no rot 2236H recone kit at his request. He wanted to try it. And this gentleman actually worked for JBL back in the 1970s and 80s, I believe. So he's going to take me up on my uh, improvement here that quite a few other people have. But here's the... Here's just more evidence that I haven't taken the magnet apart yet. I haven't cleaned it. You can see this still got some crud on the some corrosion on the edge of the top plate. <clears throat> Excuse me, but here's the uh, here's what the charge looks like. Should be 12,000 gauss. It's down 10, 10, 2, 10, 3. Well, that's at least 15% down. So it's just more evidence. And these these uh, speakers haven't been through much. They've just been sitting uh, in this gentleman's garage. He knows who he is. So as we rotate it and check the charge, you can see that it's... Uh, 10,200, 10,000. One hundred. Yeah, so I think that's enough. So these are going to both get uh, full service teardown, cleaning, and recharge. In the 2236, my 2236H no rot recone kit. Right there, there's the other one. He will never have to worry about these again. So, that's the whole idea. See you later.